हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिक बॉडी एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड हाउ टू फाइंड ए क्लासिक बॉडी एंड वी आर एबल टू चेक दैट दिस क्लासिक बॉडी डेफिनेशन विल हेल्प अस टू अचीव द रिक्वायरमेंट इट मींस नाउ वी नीड टू राइट द लॉजिक इफ यू नीड टू राइट द लॉजिक we need to create the implementation so many times we discuss the same to same thing that implementation means you want to write the logic now for this body definition we will create the body implementation or the best word i will say in the body definition we have the interface in the body implementation we will create the classes so that we can write the logic there we can write our own logic there now we will go to sc19 transaction code to create the body implementation so i will go to sc19 transaction code and i will show you the steps one by one we will go to sc19 transaction code now we want to implement classic body so we will choose the classic body radio button we have to choose the classic body radio button pass the name of your body definition which you identified so if you remember but the name of body definition we identified this is the name of body definition we will pass we will click on to create button now we need to create the body implementation body implementation so we will give some name to the body implementation suppose i am saying z body implementation for material check i'll write mat check you can give any name it's your wish now have you seen we are starting the name we are giving the name starting with z and this is our definition of enhancement itself what is enhancement you are enhancing the sap functionality in which name space customer name space we will enhance the sap functionality and we are using which name space customer name space i'll go for okay i will give that description rd implementation or material check now we will go to next step what is the next step we gave the body implementation name and we gave the description now you have to click on to interface tab just see is the interface automatically appearing yes interface is there if you remember if i will go to sc18 and show you this is the body definition in this by definition we have the interface and these all are the methods in the interface is the same to same interface is there yes same to same interface is there do we have the methods do we have the methods yes now in interface you cannot write the logic you have to write the logic in the class so in the class we will use this interface and have you seen the name of the class automatically appearing this is the most important point in case of classic body that whenever you are implementing the classic body the name of the class is automatically appearing name of the class automatically appearing so we are getting the name of the class now if i will double click on this class yes i want to save suppose i will save this as a local object i am double clicking on the class and you can see all 
methods of the interfaces are automatically appearing in the class. Those who know OOPS concepts, they clearly know that if you are using a interface into the class, how the interface methods are appearing into the class interface name tilde operator method name interface name tilde operator method name so we have six methods in the interface and all those six methods are appearing here you can check here also if you will go to interfaces tab see this interface is automatically coming into the class so all the interfaces method are appearing into the class. Now we will simply, simply activate the class. We will activate the class. Now we need to write the logic. We need to write the logic. Now we will simply, simply write the logic into this method. Other methods we will not write the logic because we want to check unit of measurement. So in this method, we will write the logic. So I'll simply double click. I'll put a breakpoint into this method. We will not blindly write the logic. Firstly, we will see. So I activated the class. Now do not forget to activate your body implementation in customer exit. Also, we studied if you want your changes to reflect, you should activate. You should activate your, I'll say project at that point of time. Now we should activate our body implementation. Now I'm activating the body implementation. It is saying, yes, it has been activated. Now we will not blindly write the logic. Firstly, we will see how to write the logic and the how to check in the debugging mode. Then we will write the logic. I already put a breakpoint in the class. Whatever the class we created, so I'll go to MM01. I'm pressing enter basic data one. I'll pass description and I'm passing unit of measurement as gauge. I'll click on to save button. And you will see, is this our, is this our body? Is this our class? Is this our class? And in this class, in this particular method, we put the breakpoint. Now we will check the parameters of this class method. We'll check the parameters of this class method. We have so many importing parameters, or you can check from desktop to itself. Okay. If you see, we have this parameter W Mara, whatever the unit of measurement you are passing, is it coming into MEINS column? Yes. We can check if W Mara hyphen MEINS is equal to KG, we should give a error or we will go for better understanding. Go to your class so that you can understand fully. Click on to your class. This is the method which we are checking. Go to parameters. Do we have a importing parameter W Mara? Yes, we have W Mara. We will check W Mara. And what is the column name in which the value is coming? M -E -I -N -S. Now, can we write a logic based upon this? Yes, we can write a logic based upon this. So I'll simply, simply write a logic based upon that. So we will go to SC19 transaction code and we will write the logic. We have the classic because we already implemented the body. So we will go for our, this is the name which we gave to the body implementation. We'll go to change. I will double click on to the class. We will double click on to the method and we will write a logic. So I will write if W Mara and hyphen M E I N S is equal to K G and if 
Now I will create a message into message class and we will give a message. I will go to SC91. And I will give description unit of measurement kg is not allowed. We'll simply, simply save this. Now we will use in the code message. Error message zero one zero, and in the bracket I will pass the message class. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now, what we studied in this particular video, we studied that we can create the body implementation through SC19 transaction code. We want to implement a classical body or classic body. So we choose this radio button. We gave some body implementation name. The most important point class name automatically appears there. Once we double click on the class, all interface methods are appearing there. And in that method, we wrote the logic and we know very well interface methods are appearing in the class by using interface web name tilde operator method name. And you can check the importance. It is totally OOPS concept. We are using the interface into the class. This is what our total OOPS concept is. In the next video, we will check in the debugging mode are we getting a expected output or not? So that's it in this video. Thank you.